Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today we're gonna be trying a bunch of new stuff that I received and just playing around with makeup. I have no idea. When I do these types of videos, I literally don't know what type of look I'm gonna go for. Um, I want something really like sparkly and I don't know, very sparkly and colorful. So I don't know. I have this Technique palette that has amazing shimmery shades in there. So I don't know. I, the thing is, is like, I never know what colors to go for. I feel like I'm gonna go for like an olivey green. I have this eye base from Technique Cosmetics. This is in the shade medium. Now eye base is actually really nice. I lost my P Louise one, which I really loved. It was too pale for me, but they do have more shades. So I need to get that. I've been saying that for the longest time, but her eye base is so good if you want like an intense, um, you want like intense eyeshadows the base is amazing comes in a tube like this it's on. see this is not as thick and full coverage as the P Louise one it's by far I also do like to use my concealers as my base my eye base like especially my Tarte Shape Tape one yeah it's very I don't like this one to be honest um okay so next thing I'm going to be using is this pixie beauty uh palette and I think it's in collaboration with a youtuber who's called that's heart I think I've watched some of her uh youtube videos so I'm going to mostly use the matte shades in here it's going to go for this brown right here and we're just going to blend this oh that's pigmented look at that we're just going to blend this up quite high I'm actually so shocked at how pigmented this is I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush and I'm gonna grab this shade right here just gonna, I'm gonna help buff the edges a little bit Okay, I'm gonna go for this shade right here from the Technic Pressed Pigment Palette in Goddess. I'm gonna use my fingers. I'm blending that a little bit into the brown. I'm filming quite late so there's fireworks going out off in the background. I'm quite surprised at how intense these are because it's such an affordable brand. I don't know if I've chosen the right colours. I think I need to lighten it up a bit. I'm going to put some gold on top. That looks so pretty. I've just used some of this Pixie Iron Lip Glitter. It's in the shade Mirage. I started off putting green and now I'm ended up with this weird shade. It's very unique. I don't know what, it almost looks like a gray with coral specks. Next I'm gonna be using some of this Tattoo Liner by Maybelline. Oh my God, this brush is so precise. Definitely a thumbs up for this liner. It's super precise, really black. Um, I just need to see if this is like long wearing or not, but the application was super easy. I literally did this in like not even a minute. I'm gonna be putting some of my Blink by Skin Face Beauty lashes in Santorini. I just love these lashes so much. Look at that, it just makes any look. I love these lashes. For foundation today, I'm gonna to be using my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation in Golden. Sponge. Let's blend it all out. This sponge is actually by EX1 Cosmetics and I literally can't stop using it. It's so soft. It's more affordable than the Beauty Blender and it's literally almost softer than the beauty blender itself like it's so nice next i have these two concealers that i've never tried before by technic cosmetics they're called the three in one canvas concealers contour sculpt and concealers have two shades here i've got um chestnut and honey 
Ooh, it's very dark. I might actually contour with that. if I like that. And the coverage is definitely there, it's just a shame on the shades. It's very cool tone. I might actually get the concealer to contour with. Definitely put way too much than I needed, maybe. Um, how am I gonna? I do love a good nose contour, but I can just never do it properly. I just use my fingers, and I always feel like I get the best results when I use my fingers in a brush. But I like this concealer because it's not like drying my. Um, nose out. I'm just going to use some of my Kat Von D loose setting powder. Next I've got this sleek blush by 3 palette in pink lemonade and I'm thinking I'm going to use this shade today. Um, and then we're going to be using this pixie highlighter. I received a bunch of pixie stuff. Um, the only thing I've actually tried from them is their glow tonic. Um, but they kindly sent me a, like a whole PR package, so I've like been dying to try these. So this is a highlighter. This is the Glowy Powder in Fetch. I'm just gonna... Oh my god, it's so pretty! It's got like rose gold reflex. I'm gonna grab some of this bright... I think this blue shade actually. And then finally some mascara. I don't know if this lipstick will go, but we'll try it anyways. I'm gonna use the Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick. It's like a lilac, but I feel like it could go. All right guys, that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Alright guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm actually kind of loving this lip with this look and this top. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Now, I think I've been most impressed by this eye and lip sparkle. The lipstick is actually really nice. Uh, it's not definitely, it's not a colour I would wear all the time. But if I had like a matching outfit in like similar eye colour, like eyeshadow, I wouldn't mind wearing it once in a while for like an event or something. I love the sleek blush palette. I actually really like the, the Technic Concealer in Chestnut, is it Chestnut? Yeah, to contour with. And also I definitely recommend checking out Skin Face Beauty's lashes, her lashes are so so nice. So everything will be linked in the info box. I wasn't too impressed by the actual eyeshadow palette to be honest. They're definitely intense but I lack that sparkle that I see in this because these are pigments, like pressed pigments. I do need to try this peach one, still look, look at that on my finger. I also should try them wet as well. So I'm going to keep this and still try it, you might see it in a future video. The Pixie palette, I was actually quite impressed at how the matte shade was quite pigmented. Shimmer, it's not as intense as the Technic one, but it's there. It does feel a bit more on the chalky, actually no. To be honest, I need to try all of these shades wet, but that's one of the shadows, the shimmer shades from the Pixie palette. So yeah, I just need to give the eyeshadows another go. Oh, and I really love the highlight, the blush and the lip. Those are the, the ones that stood out in the concealer. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I might get some new other bits of makeup to try out soon as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel before you go. Follow me on Instagram because that's where you can find me when I'm not on YouTube. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next one.